Hi, this is Jody. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hello, where I do crafting videos, I share my ideas and um, processes and little hauls. So today I have a, a hashtag Thrifty Thursday, which is a collaboration with Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming and many other um, YouTubers that have joined on. Uh, I will link Sherry's channel below so that you can go check out all of the other participants. But I have a haul here. It's not a giant one, but it's a really fun one and uh, I'm excited about it. So let's get started. I will move this all off to the side here and oops, I got some ravelings going. So I got some really neat stuff. So first let's take a look at <clears throat> this vintage uh, card game and I believe I, where did I see the date on here? I thought I found the date so uh, oh, I'm just really excited about this because I think this cover would make a cool um, journal as well because it's very vintagey, um, and I could score it here or somehow um, make it a front and back with this whole thing because it's a long box. Uh, here's the side of the box that came with it. So, so here is all of this little money. It's kind of like a Monopoly money. Let me zoom just a tad more. Um, so we have this map, mo like a Monopoly money. Uh, so this is really fun. You know, there's lots of projects to use those. And then there's all these cards. Um, now they're tags, you know, with, with price tags on them. So I thought they were really cool. And I love the blue vintagey color. And on the back side, um, it's got this bid it right. So that's the name of the game. Yeah, bid it right, the price is right. Um, so there's some green and some like pale orange, the blue and some cream color. So I thought those were really fun. And then what really caught my eye is these big old cards. Oh my gosh, they are just beautiful vintage uh, illustrations. So we have a sewing machine. Look at this picnics, uh, picnic box or basket toy car, card tables, <laughs> bowling ball and bag, a tea set, a watch, look at this vintage record player, a chair, a set of luggage, look at this train case. <laughs> I just got one like it. I'm going to do a decoupage um, project with it. Look at this vintage typewriter. It's like a teal color. Look at this TV. <laughs> look at this old uh, video camera. And look at they're all aged up. Just beautiful. Like all already done for me. And then uh, binoculars and then a saw and then back to the sewing machine so look at all of these cards oh my gosh so I fell in love with those so let me I, I know I seen a date somewhere and I thought it was 19 oh there, there it is I'm sorry gosh look at that oops <laughs> focus 1964 Marble Productions. So 1964. So this was a great find. Absolutely love this. So can't wait to do that. I've been finding some really vintage games lately at thrift stores. Okay. And then um, all different thrift stores. I was different places and uh, no garage sales this time. These were all thrift store. So I did get some punches that I wanted to add to my collection. So I found a star, which I want to use stars for uh, Christmas. And then there here is a neat little um, oak leaf. So I thought that was cute for fall. Here's just another type of a corner punch that I like to do on my 
altered greeting cards. And here is another uh, punch for the altered greeting cards too. This one here, I haven't seen that before, so that was kind of neat. And then uh, I got this punch. And so this is, uh, is there a name on it? It's called a mi mini, a mini round envelope. So I punched it out and what it does is it makes this little envelope and it shows you here on the top of the dotted lines where to fold. So you basically, you know, you punch it out and then you fold it on all these things here and it makes a little envelope. So you, you could actually do a little, a slit here or a little tuck where this would, could like slide under. And then when you open it up, there could be something on the inside, which I thought was cool. Or, you know, you could definitely glue this flap down and then you've got yourself, you know, a little envelope. So I thought this was darn cute. So got that. <clears throat> this one um, does three different little flowers. And let me grab, um, let me grab some a vintage book page. So I have, here we go. This probably isn't a good example because this is a really old, um, probably should be thicker than that. But this is, um, yeah, well, here we go. It worked. I thought it was maybe too thin. But it makes these little tiny flowers. And look how cute they are. They're just darling. Little tiny little punch outs. And they look really great, especially because I tried some on I tried some on the darker uh you know older I don't want to do this one because this is I have this for a book page, but <clears throat> I just don't have any handy right now and don't want to, want you to wait. But when I practiced, you know, tried it out when I got home to make sure it worked okay, <clears throat> I did it on that darker aged book page and it was really super cool. I love it. So this was really neat. So that's the three, the three little cutouts that it does. Really cute. So I just love that one. So I didn't have those. Those were kind of neat just to sprinkle. So that takes care of the punches. Um, then, so then I believe I showed you in my last video where I picked up some wine markers or uh, cocktail drink markers to use for charms. Look at that. I found another box. I found another brand new box. It was like two bucks. So I want to show you. They are just super cute. You can find all different kinds. Now this one, um, I mean, you know, lots of people use them for gifts. And, you know, if you're not a wine drinker, you know, you just end up tossing them to the side and that's why they end up at thrift stores and stuff but so let me get this one undone this one's kind of these go in the little holes Whoop. so you almost have to tear this whole thing to get it off there we go so this one is now I have the last haul I did I they were actually metal they were like a heavy um, you know metal one now this seems to be like <clears throat> This seems to be like a plastic uh, ornament here. And so this has, this one here has like a, you know, you just kind of open it up. It's a, like a slip ring. And how cute these are for your journals. So I want to show you what I did with mine, the other set I got. So here is my December daily slash glue book slash journal that I'm doing for this year. <clears throat> so what I did here is I just did a little bit of a piece of like a crochet and I kind of shaped it in like, like a Christmas bulb shape, how I cut it out. And then so I put it onto this card that I have. And then look, I put the charm on there. It lays flat too. And look how cute that is to add to your pages. I just love it. So you don't always have to use, um, 
like a ball pin or safety pin. I mean, they think out of the box and do wine markers. <laughs> Why not? That is so darn cute. I just love it. And you can find these wine markers, you know, um, in every style and occasion and, you know, whatever. You know, this just happens to be, I'm finding a lot of Christmas ones right now. <clears throat> so those are cute and an idea. Then I got these for my Christmas journal. So I was really happy with this. They were 99 cents at a thrift store. And look at that. Um, it says recollection. So this probably, I'm sure, was Michael's. No Hobby Lobby. I can't remember which store has recollections. But look at, they're all stickers. They're all stickers with all of the dates. So, oh my gosh, it's already you know, numbered for me in my book. So I can just put them in my, in my journal, um, different page, you know, mark my pages. So I thought that was really cool. And these are stickers and they're card stock stickers as, you know, too. They're not just a paper sticker. So I thought that was really cool. <clears throat> Christmas one there. <clears throat> and then I found... Uh, at a thrift store, a bunch of uh, bridge score pads. Now, I love bridge score pads. <laughs> so I wanted to show you what I did. I got all three of these. Um, so let's open this one. So this one. Is like this. And it's uh, kind of just an off-white paper. They're really fun to journal on. Too. And you can turn them this way and write this way, however. So this is a little pad. Um, uh, they're older, but I don't know how vintage they are. This one, though, is... Well, it doesn't say the date. It's a bridge score pad. Royal Orchard is the kind. Um, oh, 2006. So it's got a few years. Uh, but what I liked about it is, look, it is... I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's already like a vanilla color. So it's already like, you know, I mean, you can see the difference on, this is a very bright white. <clears throat> and so this is a, a vanilla color. So I liked it that it was already colored. And then there was another score pad. And so I took it apart and I'll show you what I do with these. So this I even tea dyed, this is tea dyed. Um, I tea dyed even the cover to use. <clears throat> and then, so that's what I do. I just take um, a little glass dish and I, you know, brew a, cu a cup of tea and then I uh, put it in just a s shallow little container about the same size, pour it all in. I mean, the whole thing. I mean, that's what I did. I basically just took the whole pad and put it in there and I let it sit for a little while. And then all I did is in the water when it was in there, I basically, you could just tear them right off one by one and then put them on a baking sheet and um, <clears throat> you can let them air dry, but I cook them, you know, for a few minutes in the oven. And it gives it that more, uh, you know, that crinkle love, uh, the sound that we all love. So this is all tea dyed. So that's what I do with those. And then I store mine in a little wooden box and I put a, um, I stand them up and I put a clothespin on them just because it looks cool. <laughs> so that's what I, whoops. There it goes. Um, so that's what I do with those. They I, they make great things just to tuck in in journal cards. <clears throat> All right, now on to <clears throat> this other great find. So this whole set, <clears throat> and I'm sorry, I had already taken apart because I got so excited about it, but it was in a bag. And it was in a bag with a stocking, um, what do you call it, um, pattern to make stockings with. Um, I set that aside and I can't find what I did with it actually. And I'm not sure it might have gotten tossed. I mean, I didn't need it, but I could have used it for ephemera. Um, so I, I will try to find it. But in this package was this entire pack of beautiful Christmas fabric. And I mean, it's, they're huge. They're, you know, probably, uh, let's see, whoops. So 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So they're probably, 
18 by, they're good size. There's 11, 11, 22, 18 by 22, something like that. Um, <clears throat> so let's go through these. I love, love this green, um, green, white, like stars and I don't know, snowflakes or something what they are. And then this one, am I turning it the wrong way? Let me see. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. We'll see both sides here. So then the next one is the snowballs on this teal colored fabric. If you can see it okay. And then we have this beautiful brighter teal. It says, let it snow, snowman, snowflakes, got writing on it. This one with snowman. And then this one's the same thing with red. It's mittens. There's all kinds of words on it. And then look at this beautiful one with all different sorts of hats. And then this beautiful striped. And this one. And there's the green one with the writing. And then here's the blue with the snowflakes and star. And then we have some red with green Christmas trees and then blue with green Christmas trees and then the blue one with writing and then the teal with the green Christmas trees and then the last one is this beautiful teal with the blue stars and snowflakes so I just fell in love with this. It's, I love it because it's a nice, huge, big, square piece of fabric and everything's cut for me. Um, so this was just great. I loved that. Then, at a different thrift store, this whole bundle was just in a in a bag, uh, bundled up. I believe it was like $3.99 or $4.99. But I grabbed it because it was more vintage -y type uh, fabrics. So this one... Uh, is some really tiny, small, dotted candy cane, snowman, snowflakes. And these are probably, yeah, see, these are probably the same size. Oh, no, there's actually quite a bit here. So, <clears throat> and I'm not sure, I'm not, I'm not a quilter, but I, I'm not, sure about what the 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 fat what do they call them the fat squares um so i'm not sure if that's what these are maybe but i i don't know um but look at this one this was kind of like a patchwork isn't that beautiful i love that vintagey look and then here's another one this is kind of more of like country it's got dolls and bears and wreaths and stuff and then this one was really cute too, really country, Christmas trees, drums, and toys, and stockings, really, really cute. And then of course, um, love just the holly and berries, it's a nice fine little print. And then I really loved this one, I love pine cone, or pine uh, branches, and holly and stuff, and this is kind of a um, off-white with all I just love this it's just really really cute really darling so that was my haul for this past week I didn't do too much um, I also wanted to do a little uh, share uh, idea that I did so um, let me zoom down just a tad for you so I put this cover, I put this little, I took a, <laughs> a cork and a E6000 <clears throat> glue and just glued it on there. So now I have, you know, this little handle that I can put my cover on. And so I just love it. It was just really cute and it was easy to maneuver um, instead of trying to, because it doesn't give you much room you know, to, to lift this cover off, you know, I mean, I have fat Czechoslovakian fingers. So, so for me to try to keep getting this off, I felt it was cumbersome. So this just makes it so much easier. You know, I have some, a handle that I can just take on and take off. So, you know, I don't know if you were struggling with that or you want to make it a little bit easier and, um, 
have a little a knob to hang on to. That's just an idea. So, and I love it. It's great. And I thought also about just doing a flower on top too, you know, for just some decoration. But I just like the the actual cork. So, anyways, that was just a little little idea share too. So, all right. Well, that wraps up um, this video. So. Hope everyone's doing well and you're enjoying my videos and we will see you in the next one. Thanks so much. All right, bye-bye.